Hello everyone and welcome to Universal Movement Education. My name is Jennifer Quay, also known as Miss Jenny. I am a teaching artist of Best Inclusive Practices in the Miami-Dade County. Today I would like to share with you the brain dance in a seated version. Today's video is made possible thanks to the children's trust and all kids included. Join me today for a seated brain dance. I want to demonstrate today how you can do a brain dance sitting down in the comfort of your own home, on your chair, and how it's really made for everyone. The brain dance is an eight-step sequence created by Dr. Ann Gruber in the effort to allow the brain to do what it does best, which is to integrate information, to get alert and prepared for learning and receiving new information and also for increasing the ability to memorize things with our brains as well. We're going to follow the eight-step sequence also using a static beat today which means a sound or movement that is steady and constant. So all you have to do is follow me. We begin with step number one. We're going to breathe in through our nose, nice and deep. And we're going to exhale through our mouth, making a sound. Let's begin. We go in. We hold it and we release. One more time. We inhale. Hold it in and exhale. One more time we go. Inhale. Fresh air and exhale. Preparing our brain for learning. Step two, we're going to tap our body, our skin to wake them up. And we're going to do it with a steady beat like this. We begin on our head, happy. Gentle tap. Let's tap the back. Let's tap the top. Let's tap the side. Let's tap the front. Great job. Tap your face. Feel it warm. Tap your face. And now we're done. Let's go to our shoulders. Tappy. And we're going to squeeze as well today. So cross and squeeze. 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 Cross and squeeze. Squeeze. Good. One more time. Cross and squeeze those shoulders, arms. Cross and squeeze. Very good. Let's tap our elbows. Tap. 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 Good. Tap. Tap. Waking up those elbows. Tap your chest. Little pitter patter. Fingertips. To wake up our heart center. We're going to use our hands on our belly for a very soft, gentle, circular rub. Great for digestion. We go and circle. Good. Circle. Wonderful. Circle. And circle. Let's do our hips. We tap our hips. Good. Let's tap the back. Our tailbone in the back. Good job. Let's tap the top back. Like if you are doing a good job, say good job, me. Because yes, you are. Let's go to our lap. We tap our lap and tap our knee. Let's tap our lap and tap our knee. Let's tap on the outside of our leg and on the inside of our leg. Good. Outside and inside. Let's tap our leg. This becomes a little hard. All you have to do is lift up your feet a little bit. 
and tap. And tap the other one. Wonderful, that was step two. Let's go to step number three. We're gonna move our head. We're gonna move our tail. With the support of this wonderful chair, we're going to move one leg slowly and breathe. Other way, we move our head and our tail slowly. And we relax and breathe. Great job. Let's try it front. Like if you were trying to look at your belly button. And let's do a slight back bend. And back. We go side. Wonderful. Other side. Moving that head and tail. Front, looking at your belly button. And back, bend. And come back. Good. Let's do our step four, which is our core disco. We're going to imagine we have a planet right here in our belly. And that's our inner core. The outer core is our body. And we're going to extend away from that core, like if we were a star, and we are the star, all of you at home. And we're going to come back in and close towards our inner core, like if we are at home, nice and safe. Good, let's give that a try again. We open, away from our core. And good, we come back. And we hug ourselves. Good to be inside as well as outside. This time we're going to put some words to give it me. We're going to say hello me, which we're all doing right now. Let's say hello me by hugging yourself and getting nice and small. And let's open up and say hello world. Hello world. Wonderful. Let's do that two more times. Anything else? Hello me, I love me. Go here, loving yourself there as well. And say hello world, I love you world as well. Great job. And now we're step four. Let's go to step five. We're going to divide our body in two parts. Our legs and feet, we're going to stay very quiet on our chair. And the top part of our bodies is going to move first. That means your head, your shoulders, your elbows, your hands, your arms, and your chest can move a little bit as well. This is part of your top body. Let's see some movements, very simple, easy movements we can do together. Follow me. We begin with our hands. Open, close. Good. Open. Close, do it with me. Open, close, open, good, and close. Let's extend up and down, good. We go up and down, good. We go front and side, good. We go front and side. Can you do a little back side, side, good side, side, good side, side. This side, wonderful, front and back, we go front and back, front and back, front and back, front. Let's try some circles, whoa, very good, let's go the other way and whoa, wonderful, and let's shake those arms and hands, let's shake that head as well, shake it, let's shake the shoulders, and I think the top is done. Let's cross our arms over our top. And now we will move only the bottom. That means your feet, your legs, your knees, and your hips as well. Try not to move the top at all. We begin. We're going to march. Good. For the feet. And march. 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 Let's kick those feet. Let's kick. Kick, good, kick, kick, kick those legs up in the air. Let's kick them to the side. Kick, 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 kick. Good job. Let's 
Same one, plug in the air. Shake it and stop. Wonderful. Good leg. Shake it and stop. Good. One more time. Shake it and stop. Wonderful. Last time. Shake it and stop. Great. Let's now move to our next step. Step six. We're going to divide our body with a vertical line. Remember, you have left side of your body, good, which is the opposite from what I'm doing, and you have the right. Let's free the right. You can even hold on to your chair if you like. And we are going to move only one side of our body. You can choose to move either left or right. The order is not very important. So as long as you free one side and you move the other. So let's begin with a simple shake. Just to see how that feels in your body. We shake. Good. And we stop. Now let's squeeze that side and try the other. Open up that other side and we shake again. Here we go. We shake. Remember, just one side of the body move. We shake. And we stop. We come back. And now it's time for you at home to explore what you can do because each brain is very unique and different and we move in a variety of different ways. I'm going to give mine a try to see how I feel like moving. My arms and legs are making a tiny bit of an infinity symbol or an eight upside down. And that's what I felt like doing today. So that would be my movement. And then I would stop. Now on the other side, my movement might change. Simply because it's on the other side of my brain. Remember, brain and side, we have left and right. Left is for logic, right is for creativity and art. And when we move them each at a time, we are able to bring those tools about. Let's see what's on the other side. We freeze one side and we move the other. This is when this feels like lifting off the ground. So that's what I'm going to do. What are you doing at home? There's so many ways you can move and it's up for you to explore what that is. And freeze and we go back to the center. For our next step, we are going to be moving cross laterally, which means one side connects to the other. This is where the magic happens. Left brain and right brain, they speak to one another and magic begins to happen. So we're going to do that by bringing one elbow to the other knee, your opposite knee. So instead of same knee, we're wanting to go to the other side. Good. And let's try the other elbow on the other side. Good. Let's see if you can do that with your hand. Hand across. Hand across again. And we would look like this. You have your two hands. So it's crossing, uncrossing. Let's try that together. We cross, uncross. Cross, uncross. Good job. Cross, uncross. Let's try our leg. We cross, uncross. Cross, uncross. Cross, uncross. Cross, uncross. You might even bring one foot over and cross it this way. You might bring the other foot over and cross it that way. You might even give yourself a nice hug. This is also cross lateral movement. Wonderful job. Let's go to our last step. Our last step is a spinning motion. So you can either try to spin in your chair. For those of you that have cool chairs at home with those nice wheels, give it a try. You can go and spin around in your own space. You can also spin in a chair if you're there, or you can simply do a little twisting motion. So we move and twist back, and back, and twist, and back one more time, twist, and back, and twist, and back.
and your back. And because spinning is one of the most powerful actions you can protect your brain with, you can also give your body that effect, your brain that effect, by moving your head in circles like this. So moving and circling all around, looking down, side, back, and around. And let's try to the other side. We circle, look up, to the side, and down one more time. Side, up, side, and down. I hope you enjoyed the Ring and Dance seated style with me today. Again, my name is Machete, Jennifer Quake artist in Miami Dade County. I hope this is a service to all and may you all share, comment, and pass on the love.